I am not being disingenuous in saying that this is v very humbling. As a scientist, we receive very few accolades. And um, I have to say, when I received the email saying that I'd won this award, I actually thought it was spam because it had <laughs> something like, you know, congratulations, you've won an award. And I actually opened the email thinking, yeah, yeah, I've gone into a lottery and I'm going to get $10 million. And I have to click on the link. But within 24 hours, and no, it wasn't. It was actually that I'd won this alumni award. Um, so we were told to stick to two minutes. Um, and normally I don't bother. For years now, I don't prepare talks. But I made an exception. Because it's two minutes, it's a short piece of paper. But given that some people have spoken a bit longer, so I'll indulge me. I'll try not to be too long, though. Um, so I studied at UTS, or as we knew it, the Institute, um, and referred to it as the Institute because it was the New South Wales Institute of Technology. And I studied biomedical science. Um, I have to say, and it's probably out of context tonight, given that we're um, talking about excellence, but my first year was a disaster. In fact, I failed biology one. <laughs> And when I enrolled in second semester, I'll never forget the dean looked up at me and said, are you sure you want to enroll? <laughs> um, but I stuck it out. And in, by second year, I discovered microbiology. And I became fascinated by what bacteria these little organisms can do, and particularly um, with respect to disease. Um, and I was fortunate to have many excellent lecturers and teachers. Um, who really inspired me. And by third year, I actually started to get some really good um, grades. And, uh, but two really stand out. One of those was a very ill-tempered, uh, uh, lugubrious Scot called Lewis Gibson, who was the lecturer of medical bacteriology. Um, and a demonstrator who was a bit of his, like a sidekick, Bonnie MacDonald. Um, and they were fantastic and they inspired me and I know people who went through that course still when, we, when we've met um, and we've spoken and we've remembered some of their sayings. Um, and so from there, um, really uh, after that, I, I then went, as you heard, I went on, on and did a PhD and at the time it wasn't possible at the Institute. And subsequently, I ended up at Pasteur, the Institut Pasteur in Paris, which is really a dream come true for a microbiologist. You couldn't go anywhere better than that. Uh, and after 13 years, um, I came back. But one of the reasons why I'm particularly delighted to win this award, though, because genuinely, my time at the Institute was really one of the most interesting and enjoyable phases of my life, notwithstanding the Great Hall and the exams. And in fact, for many years, when I was stressed, I had a stress dream, and my stress dream was coming here <laughs> and going to a maths two exam and not having prepared. And I had a little glimpse of it. I went to the toilet and I asked the girl, Where's the, where are the toilets? And she pointed across. And I just remembered as an undergrad student, you know, coming out of the exam quickly and rushing across there with the invigilator standing there, making sure that we weren't doing anything that we weren't supposed to do. Um, so, to finish up, and I do have to genuinely say too, I've heard some amazing achievements tonight, and I think it's fantastic that UTS um, acknowledges these achievements um, from people who have been at university. I think so much, one of my criticisms, and coming back to Australia, I find that there's so much time spent talking about the achievements of sports personalities or TV personalities. And we've really heard some remarkable stories tonight. Um, and I'm just happy to be part of that group. I'd like to thank um, Liz Harry um, and Cynthia Whitchurch, uh, who nominated me from the I3 Institute, um, here colleagues and friends. Um, and I'd also like to thank my wife, Lucy, who's actually a UTS um, graduate herself, Biomed, but we never knew each other at the time. We met later when I was doing my PhD. Um, and my son, Christian, um, both of whom have been incredibly supportive um, and, you know, have been patient and shared their lives um, with a three micron long bacterium. Thank you.